Next, Brucey e. Cummings from Florida Action Committee. Good morning, thank you for your time. My name is Brucey e. Cummings and I'm a registered voter. I am speaking to you in hopes of providing you with the information regarding problems in the Florida Sex Offender Registry. I submit this information with the intent of educating our legislators about the registry so that you can make more informed decisions before enacting new laws. And you will be motivated to revise the current registry to remove some of these problems. The American Law Institute has recently included the topic of sex offender registration in their proposal for revisions to the Model Penal Code or MPC. The MPC is used by more than half of the states before enacting criminal codes. Even courts in non-adopting states have been influenced by its provisions. Many sexual offenders that are registrable in the federal and most state laws are not registrable under the MPC provisions. Why, you might ask? Because research shows that they have a very low rate of recidivism, regardless of what you may hear in the media and registration only serves to destabilize the individual. The MPC suggests that there are six offenders offenses which should trigger a registration obligation. Because I don't have time to read this list, I've provided you with a handout that will have all of these six pieces. Rather than lumping everybody into a one size fits all category, subject to draconian restrictions for life, we should reconsider this approach. The lifetime registry for all has created a bloated, ineffective, and super expensive waste of resources. There are volumes of up-to-date research showing these resources could be better spent on prevention in order to stop these crimes from occurring in the first place. Please read and consider the information I've printed for you. It's incumbent on you as representatives of our community to create productive and effective laws that actually serve to keep our children safe. Thank you so much. This is an important issue and I know it's not a popular one. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Any questions? Any questions? Thank you. Oh, sorry for interrupting you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you and good afternoon delegation. We're Broward County citizens. We were at the first delegation meeting and I spoke. We return today to continue addressing the serious issue of homelessness and the negative impacts of the public registry restrictions as they now exist. After the last meeting, our oldest daughter had to take me to the ER where I was hospitalized. If I'd been homeless when this happened, I might not be standing here today. We have many citizens who've been earmarked and placed on a public registry, a registry that continuously changes until it's become nothing but an instrument of continuing punishment for life. Even after all debts to society have been paid, it's an instrument that's been shown to be costly and ineffective in its purposes. It's an instrument that's made thousands homeless, puts them in dangerous situations. This is my wife, Mary. You met her before. We've been married for 61 years. We have five grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. Now, as we age, we've looked into facilities where we can move as our needs change. As a registered citizen, we cannot find a single facility that met the 2,500-foot living restriction restriction from a park, a bus stop, a school, and so forth. This means there's almost no place in the entire county where a registered citizen can live indoors. Do you think that really improves public safety? We ask you to create legislation that will create educational programs that would use public funds on something that could actually be effective instead of expending them on the registry that's been shown to be completely ineffective with its ever increasing punishments, such as the residency restrictions that are actually harmful to everyone's safety. Thank you.
I see any questions or comment. No, Mr. Mazzella, I appreciate you coming here. I'm a criminal defense lawyer. I've practiced for 30 years. I understand the harm that uh, scarlet letters bring to, to many individuals, and I wish you luck in your fight. Thank you. Thank you.